are Amanda and David Bowles. We've been RVing for three years and we absolutely love it. And our RV pro tip is incorporating your own style into your RV. I would describe my personal style as like boho, um, relaxed, little hippie. I'd say I get most of my style and inspiration from Instagram or Pinterest mainly. I don't have the style that Amanda has, but she, she comes up with a game plan for how she wants things to look and, and he makes it happen. Yeah, and I and I make it happen. Teamwork. Uh, yeah. We decided to renovate our RV because it's a 2005. All the cabinets were orange and the carpet and the tile. I wanted to really make it my own and make it feel like my house. And now it does and now it feels like our home. Yeah. Everything that we've done in here has, we've done ourselves, you know, whether it's the floors or the windows or um, painting or... The lights. When you're looking at an RV and you see something in it that you want to change, it's really no different than a house. And a lot of times it's even easier than doing things in a home. And you can really personalize it and make it yours without much effort or even a lot of money, really, because you're not covering a huge space. The largest change that we made was taking the carpet out and replacing it with a uh, vinyl plank flooring. It's much better now that we have the, the flooring in here and we don't have to worry about cleaning the carpet and tracking mud and snow and sand. Some simple changes we made are like the cabinet poles, the box splash was pretty easy to do. The window treatments, taking down the big boxy valances and putting these in, these are really easy to pull up and down, which is so nice. Our little fireplace that was easy to pop in here. We love that. Bailey loves it. She sits in front of it. An easy way to add your own style and design to your RV is peel and stick paper, whether it's for a backsplash or an we accent walk, yeah. wall or something like that. It, it's really easy just to cover what's already there. You can do it in 10 minutes or less, you know, and it, it, it can totally change the entire feel of a room. Yeah. Also curtains, throw pillows, blankets. All those things really add a touch of your own style pretty easily. Command hooks Command and hooks stuff. Or RVers best friend. Command sure. hooks in an RV are the best. Are the best because you don't have to worry about damaging any walls. They can hold a decent amount of weight and they just come off. And you can use them inside, outside, everywhere. I like to hang plants with command hooks, hang hats or clothes, um, jewelry. So the important things to consider when you are um, renovating your RV or um, really adding anything, the first thing to consider is weight and how much weight you're adding to it and not exceeding the gross vehicle weight that is printed on the label of your trailer, fifth wheel motorhome, whatever it is, they all have a maximum allowable weight. And so that's the first thing to consider. Um, but aside from that, we yeah. both have our routines whenever we're gonna get underway and I'll yeah. do a lot of the outside stuff and securing the outside and she'll get the inside ready and we kind of both just double check each other before we go. Always either vacuum or sweep your floors before you bring your slides in because those rollers or slides that they're gonna come in on can drag a rock or drag something across your floor and scrape it. You really have to think about moving around and bumps and windy but roads and you don't want anything that's gonna make a mess with glass everywhere in your RV. And I mean, sometimes it, it can just mean you're putting things in the sink or you know taking things off the shelf, which we love our open shelf, so it's worth it to take that extra time to put things away when we travel. We do make sure whenever we're like, we get to our spot, when we open the cabinets, we just open them like real <laughs> Yeah, because you never like... know what shifted. Yeah. Yeah, you kind of crack it open, peek, make sure nothing's yeah. going to fall out, and yeah. then you're good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely make sure your knives are secure when you're traveling. If you have a knife block or you have, you know, knives just lying around, we have a, a knife block, a, a magnetic knife block, and we do always take our knives down and put them in a drawer just in case yeah. because that would be bad if knives were flying everywhere. Another tip I have is to always take your plants down so the soil doesn't end up everywhere or you know the plants don't fall out of the pot and so I just take them down and set them in the slide and then pop them back up whenever we get where we're going. If you're looking at an RV and it's not the exact way you want it you can change whatever you want to change in yeah. it to, to make it the way you want it and it's not a big undertaking and don't be scared to make it your own. Right. Hopefully you enjoyed our RV pro tips. Be sure to check out other RV influencers pro tips to take your RV knowledge to the next level. Now go hit the road. Thank you.